Hello beautiful friends. Oh, welcome back to the forest. Oh, after my video yesterday, I felt like I just wanted to come back and make another one. Um, I went home and listened back to it and something really sort of stood out for me. And uh, it was the moment that I felt the trees come in and I really wanted to sort of just, I wanted to come back and really feel into their message and see what it is that how they can support us what is it that we can do with the trees at this time <laughs> first of all I'm hearing plant more <laughs> um, yeah that's always a good one for us to support charities and organizations that um, plant trees I, I'm a member of the tree sisters I think that's a really great one to be supporting at this time. Um, and yeah, on my on my walk here, um, I I was feeling into their physicalness, into the physical side of of the trees and how they stand so so strong and and so they're so present. They're just here, aren't they? Just standing, and it's really the message that's been coming through for me right now has been this message of being so in the present moment and yeah I mean they they absolutely represent that present moment living there's nothing else that they can do other than be in this moment rooted in the ground appreciating this beautiful nature so yeah, so I'm. Um, that's just what I was feeling on my way here. Was there anything else? No, I think it was just that correlation between the messages that I've been getting about being present and being in the body. I really feel like just to come and sit amongst the trees and spend time just sort of feeling them with our bodies, like tuning in with our whole body and feeling the fullness of their presence and their embodiment and inviting that embodiment for ourselves at this time. I, I really, yeah, this is just so the message that's coming through for me right now in this still point with all the sort of chaos going on in the world right now is that it's really about embodiment. If we want to move forward with new ideas and new ways of being, we need to fully embody our essence, our soul, our higher self whatever you want to call it however you relate to that aspect of ourselves um, and so rooting into the present moment being here right here like here is usually really safe is often here isn't there's nothing really terrible happening in the moment apart from ideas of the future most of the time so just really rooting into to this present moment Okay, so I'm going to just tune in to the trees and just want to give thanks to all the beautiful trees that are around me here now. And, um, yeah, giving thanks that this place is available, so available to me. <sighs> so I'm just sort of sending my energy out as if I'm touching all the trees with my love and my gratitude and I just want to see if I can tune back into that feeling yeah that I had yesterday where they're all sort of standing around me and what is my question for the trees how can we how can we support them and how can they support us so how can we support them? So earlier I was saying to plant more trees and to touch them. That's also what I'm seeing, to touch them, to interact with them, to recognize that they are alive and have consciousness. And they're saying, in return, we will see your light as well. We will see your consciousness. We will validate you. 
we will teach you how to be strong, how to be rooted and grounded. And it feels like this is a really individual journey as well. So, yeah, it's for each of us to go and explore a connection with the trees at this time. And I'm hearing this message of remember that energy flows where attention goes. Is that what it is or <laughs> which way around? Yeah. Um, so the more that we are focused on the trees and giving them our love and our support and our gratitude and being willing to support them in whatever ways we can the more that energy grows and you know at the moment it's so easy to have our focus on the outside world and what's going on on the like world stage and the media I mean this I get caught in it like I I'm fascinated by it um and I just recognize the need to balance that out with focusing on what it is that we really want and for me I want a deeper connection with nature like I want to be I want my life to be co-creating with nature I think is the best way to put it okay what else is there Yeah, it's just a real invitation for us each to go out and make our own connection with the trees and ask ask the trees your own questions, how they can support you and how you can support them. Hearing the word offerings and celebration. Yeah, I was having a conversation with a friend earlier about, yeah, she was telling me what she was seeing in the woods like the fairies like are just they're in celebration they know how to celebrate life and especially at times like this it can be really difficult for us to tune into that energy of celebration but you know right now for me here in the woods there's nothing else going on other than the beautiful waterfall you can see in the background the sun or golden getting closer to the horizon all the fern and the trees and the cold and the running water and the mushrooms I've just been gifted as well winter sh- chanterelles I can't believe they're still out I've never picked them well I picked them once before this year so I don't know how long their season is so I was really excited to find them again you know it's so simple and the more that we can come in and focus on these things on what is really real and true and nourishes us Oh yeah, I feel like they like that word, nourishing. For us to do what nourishes us. And and hopefully nature nourishes you. So I'm just feeling in. Is there anything else that the trees want to share? There's been this other piece in my thoughts. I did a very short video. I think one of the first ones that I did when I was connecting in with the trees. And um, and they were showing me how they connect to the celestial light. And they receive it all. Just as I'm saying that, that I can see all the rainbow rays coming off the sun through, through the trees. Um, so it's like they receive all of this celestial light from the stars, from the sun. And they it's like information and um, nourishment for Gaia. And they channel it down. And yes, yeah, so I'm really feeling that we can also do that as well. So for us to also get out under the stars, if that's possible, get out under the sun, receive the rays of the sun. It's all encoded with information and nourishment and food for our souls, for the earth. And we are also these conductors as well. There's all this information. And and if it's something that resonates with you to tune in with your star family, 
that also feels really good as well. There's a real, I'm feeling this really strong energy coming through of connecting with, yeah, with our star family, connecting with these other realms so that this energy and this information can anchor here on Earth. Hmm. Okay, let's see if there's anything else before I finish. Hmm. I'm physically feeling this energy moving down through my body. It's really beautiful. It's almost like being stroked energetically. Um, what's going on there? Okay, so what, another thing I'm hearing from the trees is that they can support us to cleanse and clear our, our energy bodies and our physical bodies. like really good maintenance for our bodies to get out into nature i've never i've never been a very good one at looking at all the science behind uh connection with nature but you know we know that it that it's so good for us that it's so good for us mentally and physically yeah i feel yeah this thing of nourishment right now is so important so connecting in and allowing the trees to, to really nourish us. Oh, and the sun. I feel like I just want to share some of the golden sun. Oh, look, there it is. Hmm. <sighs> well... If you do go and connect with the trees and if you do get any words of wisdom, please do leave some words of wisdom in the comments below as well. Like maybe come back to this video and um, share if there's anything that comes through. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to be more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? to connect in more consciously with the trees and invite this cleansing and clearing and just to continue to tune in with them and really feel their presence and feel their gifts and and also tuning into what I can do for them what can I do for the trees wow they really it's again yeah this energy of of uh, playful celebration gratitude offerings yeah get your hands on the trees even in winter it's powerful okay that's my message for today so much love to you thank you for watching and i look forward to sharing another video really soon bye